Let me turn to little Macron. I've stopped calling him little Napoleon uh, because actually Napoleon, while short, was a man of substance, a man of stature who left a footprint across all of Europe and indeed farther afield. Little Macron will never be able to do that. He's more a Bourbon Dauphin sitting on his gilded throne in the palace of Elysee in Paris, ordering around imaginary armies. France has no army to speak of. The last time the French army was tested in a European theater, they folded like a cheap deck chair, allowing Hitler all the way to the Eiffel Tower in record quick time, faster than you could get there in an Uber today. They collapsed like a cheap tent. They cannot successfully prevail against Niger, against Burkina Faso, but they're ready to fight the Russians. I need not mention that the last time uh, the Emperor of France went to Moscow, he had to retreat a completely bedraggled and defeated figure. I could mention the last time the French were in Odessa, when they were part of the war of intervention to try and reverse uh, the Bolshevik Revolution of October 1917. They held Odessa until the then nascent Red Army of soldiers and sailors, workers and peasants, including women cavalry troops, routed the French and drove them from Odessa.